attempt to uh, have a look at this Sony bloggy. Uh, this is a MHS CM5 model, my old um, Sony blog camera that I used to use for recording. Um, now what's happened to it is that the, the lens has stopped moving. So when I turn it on the lens stays uh, right down in the in the housing and I've got no um, no autofocus and I can't move the, um, uh, the zoom on it either. So I'm going to uh, attempt to have a repair of this. Don't know how it's going to go, whether we'll manage it or just completely destroy it. But it's no good anyway as it is, so it's worth a go. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to attempt to take it apart. Now I'm not sure how it comes apart. There's a few screws here, here, down here, and there's some underneath in the base here. So I'll pull this apart and then we'll come back and have a look once we've got it apart. Okay, so I've started taking it apart and I'm just just realised that we need to mark where all these screws come from because I'm not sure if they're going to be um, the same size, different sizes or what. So what I normally do is I normally throw them onto this little magnetic uh, strip here so I can keep them all together. But um, I've also got this big magnetic strip board which uh, I've drawn around the camera like so and I've drawn the back plate and the underneath plate where the uh, the screws are and there's two screws up here under the camera and what I've done I've just marked where they are and then I've numbered each one so I'm just going to put these screws on this magnetic board and I'm just going to number each one or I could put them where they are on the on the actual thing um, either way but that's that's what I'm doing uh, as we take the screws out so I'm going to take the screws out and as I take them out I'll put them down there just so that we know that we've got the uh, the screws in the right place like so they are actually the same size but they are actually the other way around so if we wanted to we could do it like that which is the way I'm going to do it or you could just put them where you've marked them on a bit of paper or something. This is actually a magnetic board so it holds them in place so I don't actually knock them off when I uh, pick it up and move it. Okay so it looks like they're all the uh, all the same size. I've got all the screws out now that I can see and we've put them on the relevant place on the board just so that we know where they go back. And now it's just a case of uh, figuring out how it all comes apart. Now it does look, if I ease away, that it will all pull apart. Now I'm suspecting we might have to move this uh, back cover that's stuck on and also this front cover and I should imagine that this lens piece unscrews as well which is moving so that's a good start so yeah so I'm going to take these pieces off I might just have to uh, warm them up a little bit just to soften the glue and then I'll peel them away and then we'll see uh, see if we can get it all apart okay so I'm just going to run a bit of uh, a bit of hot air on this just to warm it up we don't want it too hot that it starts melting stuff just enough to, uh, to have a go at melting the glue and then hopefully Well, that went uh, that went better than expected. Let's have a go with this one. Just going to turn me heat down a little bit there. Because we don't want to melt any of these switches and things.
and it's quite hot to the touch that so with a bit of luck Well, I don't even know if these need to come off, but I should imagine they do because I'm going to split this in half. Okay. Yeah, not so sure now whether they needed to come off. As I'm easing this off, I'm just looking to make sure there's nothing attached to it. Any ribbon cables or anything that I'm going to pull off. And it looks like those buttons all push through to a tactile switch of some kind. Okay, well the first bit that came off, I managed to get off, was this piece here which just... After having a good look at it, I realised that we can lift that and slide that piece out. And then that leaves us some more screws, which is holding the, the screen on. And a couple more screws down in there. Now this is the part that we need to get into, is the, uh, is the lens part. Now, looking at this... It looks as though it's in two halves, but I'm not sure whether that's all going to come away as one. Whether we need to remove some more screws. Now I would say... That there's some sort of cover on there. It needs to come off. I need to be careful with this because this is already cracked. It's been cracked for a long time now. But um, just need to be careful as we ease that off that we don't make any break it anymore. Because I would like to fix this and uh, have it working again because it's a, a bloody good camera. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to uh, just going to keep plodding along now looking at that it does look as though that piece is screwed through on that piece there so if I remove those two screws or even four screws I think that might allow this to slide out um, so what I need to do now I just need to draw this piece up here with four screws so we've got the uh, that piece there, lens there, and we've got that piece. Okay, there. so I've removed four screws. There wasn't actually screws here and here. There was only one, two, three, and four by the looks of it. So we've readjusted our drawing there. And now, with a, hopefully, with a bit of luck, this should lift off, and it does. And then we're into the inside, which has got the screen connector there. So let me just see how that one comes apart. Sure, if that's um, I don't think that is a slideable one. I think it just 
No, I don't think it's one of those that pushes in or pushes out. I think it just. Um, there's my tweezers. Got to find a decent pair that's not all bent up. Fiddly fiddly. Okay, so we're just a, a tight fit in there. So it looks like it's going to come apart quite easily once you start removing screws. There's another one there which looks like that holds the back on. Um, as I say, this is the bit we need to get to, this housing here. Okay, so we're making progress now. We've managed to get all the, uh, the outer plastic casing off now. I've just basically been going through, taking screws out, um, drawing little... Uh, drawings of where the screws go so we can put them all back together um, this is the piece that we need to get off and have a look why this lens is um, just flopping around if I go like that I can actually tap it and it drops back down and if I do the same there it just drops forward I don't know what that is that's just fell off oh I do that was off the back of that so that's the um, that's the uh, what would you call that? That's the camera. I'm trying to think of the proper name for it, but I can't. Um, and that was on there that just fell off, so that's no biggie. Uh, so yeah, so I've basically I've just been taking the screws out and just taking bits off as we get to them. A bit of common sense, and you shouldn't really have a problem stripping it down and putting it back together. Whether we can actually do anything with this once we've got it apart is another story. Um, but we're nearly there now, so we'll just keep plodding on and just keep pulling bits off until we get this out so that we can have a look and see what the problem is okay. with it. So we've managed to pull it all apart. As you can see, I've marked up everything, which I'm glad I have because there's so many different screws, different sizes, different lengths. Now it also looks like, because I did actually buy this second hand off eBay, and it looks like someone might have already been in here. Either there's no screw meant to be in this uh, this one, or it's been apart before and they never put the screw back in, or it's fell out, but I've not seen a screw kicking around, rattling around in there, so I don't know. But there's what looks like four screws here in the uh, the bottom of the lens. Uh, which I'm going to drop out now and I'm just having a look to see if this comes apart it does look like it should come apart it looks like it all clips together and various things so hopefully we'll be able to get inside here and just have a look see what um, what's happened something's either come off or broken inside there to stop this lens from from moving if, if you can see in there so I'll just tap it it falls forward and if I tap it it falls back up see so something's fell off something's not uh, quite right in there so we'll drop these four screws out um, if we drawn that up, let me just draw this up so we've got the the base of it running out of space here. So I'll just draw that. We have one, two, and three screws, and flex cable. And the lens is here. Lens. 
So these, yeah, these are special screws. These have got like a little shoulder on them but for the rubber mounts. Uh, focus. If you can see them, but they've got like a little uh, a little shoulder on them for the rubber mounts, so they'll have to go back in the right place definitely. We'll have a look in a minute once we've got this off if there should have been one in that other corner. Because it might be that this has already been uh, repaired once. And looking at it, it does look as though there should have been one in there, which is threaded inside. I suspect it's been apart before and someone's lost the uh, lost the screw. But never mind. Plod on we shall. Okay, so we've got this uh, two screws out now. And with a bit of luck. This top will lift off, and it does. Now, I'm just going to bring that up to the camera just so we can see inside, just in case I lose anything. And we can sort of figure out which way it all goes back together. And I shall also take some photographs of that before I pull it apart. I'm just trying to see now. I can zoom you in a little bit. Hopefully that's in focus. And it looks like yeah, in the light where you can see down in there is where it attaches to the motor by the looks of it. Yeah, it looks like that back one is attached to a motor and that obviously moves in and out in and out for the focus and this one here is the zoom in and out now it is yeah it's quite loose in there that all right i'm going to take a photograph of this then and uh, have a closer inspection of it Okay, so I've had a good look at this now. We've had it all apart, and I've had it under the uh, under the microscope. And we've had a good look, and I can't actually see anything wrong with it in there. Now, one thing I did notice when it was originally together was that uh, that piece there in the middle was crooked and off to the side. Well, now we've put it all back together again. It actually looks level, so I'm going to go with um, trying to put this back together now. But I'm sort of going to, uh, well, I'm going to try and, and, and get it going um, as it is separated, and see if we can get some power onto it, and see if we can get this to move, and see if it actually does anything before we put it all back together and put all the screws in. Um, now I've had a good hunt online for a replacement uh, lens unit I can't find them anywhere there is a what looks like a part number on the side here but if I do a search it doesn't come up with anything so I think I'm just going to attempt to uh, to try and piece it back together and hopefully we might be able to put it back together just enough just to uh, test it and see if it still works before we put all the screws back in so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to uh, get all this back together okay so we're slowly putting it back together 
trying to remember where everything went. I'm glad I'm so glad that I uh, marked it all off on this board because it would have been a bit of a nightmare. Now I was going to attempt to um, to try it by just sort of putting it together without putting all the screws back in. I don't think that's going to be too possible, but we'll have a go. Uh, so we might just end up rebuilding it all and if that doesn't work, it doesn't work. As I said, I can't get the uh, the lens for it for love no money. Um, I did uh, actually put a post up on Free Cycle as well, asking if anybody had one of these cameras that was uh, not working, that they'd be willing to uh, to give to me as uh, a donor camera. I've not heard anything as yet, um, so I'm just going to carry on and just keep building this up, and um, I'm going to hope that messing around inside there's realigned whatever it was that was out of a line as I said earlier the um, the lens it, it looked as though it was twisted and out of line now it looks like it's it's as it should be so with a bit of luck it uh, it might work but I'm not going to uh, not going to hold yeah, my breath pretty much got yet. it all together now apart from the uh, the outer covers um, the screen and the button on the back here so I think I'm going to attempt you now everything's connected apart from what are we missing we haven't got the screen and we haven't got the um, the button on the back there connected so I'm going to put the battery in and with a bit of luck although I don't think it will because it needs the screen opened to tell it to turn on so we might have to connect the screen, okay. Let's connect the screen as well. Okay, so with a bit of luck, if I bring that over. Something like that. And I attempt to the battery in. I'll turn this up so I can see the lens. Okay, nothing's actually happening, so let's take that out of there. Let's have a look, see why not. I'm assuming I've got that in the right way up. That goes like so. Okay, so I've... Um, Put this back cover on now just so that it holds the battery in properly and it's now firing up and the lens does move and it is focusing. Yeah, it is focusing. And we've got the zoom, which is moving. So it looks like we might be in business with that. Okay, let's just flick that off. Let's let that uh, turn off a minute. You 
there's there you go the green light's gone out and I'll remove the battery again and we'll put it back together fully now so it looks like whatever it was that was jamming it you see that that's moved back and forth and it looks a lot straighter than it did before I mean that inside looked twisted so I'm going to go with that for now uh, and start putting it all back together and putting the rest of these screws in and then we can just have a look and see if it uh, if it's working okay so it's all back together now apart from I've just got these uh, metal bits to glue back on and that one on the back there just to glue back on and that front lens piece to uh, to put back on there but that's no uh, no bother right now so we'll flick him on and yes he's working and he's auto focusing now you can see that there Yeah, so the autofocus is now working on it. Okay, I'm going to call that fixed. It looks as though the um, the, the lenses inside had come out of alignment and were slightly twisted, and that was what was causing them to uh, to not to focus and for the zoom not to work on it. Um, I've been careful not to get any fingerprints on the lens on the inside there, and I cleaned everything up after I'd uh, took it apart just to make sure no dust and anything had got in there um, but yeah so I'm going to call that repairs okay we're on the Sony bloggy now uh, just quick test video here uh, it looks like it's uh, all fixed it's all focusing the auto focus seems to be working now uh, yeah so I'm going to call that done so if you like my videos don't forget to hit that like button and if you hit the subscribe button you'll get updates as and when we put new videos up